Welcome to another One Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create the shooting that you find in all these awesome video games. How do you do it? What is the magic of your ship or character creating these bullets? How, did, how does this all happen? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that. And, you know, I'm just remembering Michael Jackson and I want to do this video in honor of him because he likes shooting things. Oh, oh, um, I'm sorry about that. Well, let's get right into it. For this tutorial, all you'll need is one ActionScript 3 layer, which you can lock, and we're just going to code everything for this tutorial, which is not that much code, surprisingly. Now we're going to move over to the library, and I'm going to show you how I set up my library and everything that's included in it. Inside my library, I have a bullet, I have a sound effect of a gun, and I also have a ship, which I've drawn. You can draw anything that you want. So it's basically two movie clips and a sound. There is something special about these two movie clips and a sound. As you see that there is a linkage. And in each linkage, it has an export and a name. For the bullet, of course, it exports as bullet. And I'm going to show you how to create that export. When you're creating your bullet and ship, you're going to come up with this foreground window. And usually it's basic but you're gonna click on the advanced and in the advanced part you wanna go down to export for action script export in frame one and you're gonna give it any name that you want I recommend sticking to a name that makes sense like bullet or ship and it's going to be the same thing for the sound now with the sound what you're gonna do is import it to your library and once you import it to your library head over to your library right click on it and and the properties you want to click on once you right click on it and you want to do the same actions and link it and give it a name which I've named it SFX a great place to find sound effects is freesound.org you'll find a whole bunch of great sounds you can search for it and you'll find just the one you're looking for free of charge there's not that much code going on inside of this movie clip but it's important that you know what this code is all about the first variable is sfx underscore gun and I data type it to a sound and it's equal to a new sfx. Now if you remember from me setting up those export to action script, I gave it the class name of sfx. So what happens is this class here or this new sfx is saying that this item which is the sfx underscore gun is the same as the sound that I linked in the library. This is also true for the ship. The ship that I created, I gave it the class name of ship. So I'm saying this SP movie clip, this variable SP movie clip, is the same item as the item inside of the library. So now I'm able to link these two items to the action script I'm using. The next thing I'm creating is a variable that I call bullet holder. This will hold all your bullets and we're data typing it to a sprite which is equal to a new sprite. Now we're going to add these two items to the stage. What I mean by two items, the bullet holder which is invisible right now and which will always be invisible and the SP which is the ship and I have an order in which I put them in. The bullet holder goes first and the ship goes second. The reason I do this is we want the bullet holder to be under the ship so when the bullets come out the bullets aren't on top of the ship, it is under the ship. Moving on, now we want to add an event listener. That event listener that we want to add is an enter frame event listener. And the next item we want to add is an event listener to the stage. And this will listen for clicks. So on click and we have an on enter. So let's get on to the on enter function that I've created. The on enter function is basically controlling the movement of the ship. Using this ease formula, we calculate where the ship's x coordinate should be. And this has to do with where the mouse is. So this is how it goes down. This number right here is the target, which you know is the mouse x. And this number is the current x of the ship. So we subtract it, and by getting the difference, we know how far the ship and the mouse x is. And once we know that, then we multiply it by a number. A, f 
a number smaller than 1, which is a fraction, and also I have the same idea for the ship. Y axis, but the only difference is I'm subtracting 350 because that's where I want the ship to remain. This is the base position of its Y axis, 350. Now this is important, this 350, because when we shoot we want the ship to move back and forth, showing that there's some force being exerted from the bullet. Alright, the next item we have is that on click. This is what creates those bullets. So we have SFX underscore gun dot play. Now remember how we linked the SFX class to that SFX underscore gun variable. So now when we, we write dot play, it will play like a regular sound. The next item we have is the ships dot Y, and we set it to 365. It goes from 350 to 365, which sets the ship back just a little bit. Now we have a new variable which you call BL, which is a sprite, which is equal to a new bullet. We haven't created the bullet class yet, just hold on. So anyway, we set the bullet to the ships X and Y, and if your ships X and Y is in the center, then your bullet will come out of the center. So we set it to the same X and Y as the ship, and also we add it to the bullet holder. So bullet holder dot add child BL, which is the bullet. So we have everything set up except for the bullet class. Now when we create a class, this is how we have to do it. First, save your FLA. And what you're going to do is create an action script file or AS file in the same directory as your FLA. So file, new, and in new, you want to head over to action script file and press OK. Now we're going to set up the bullet class. I already written the bullet class, so I'll just explain what's going on. Now the bullet class, you have to save it the same name as the class, meaning if you name it bullet, you need to save it as a bullet.as, and you also need to keep the same class name. So let's get into this class. The first way you create a class is you put everything inside of a package, which is an open brace, and at the end is a closed brace to the package we import items that we need. The items that we do need is import flash display sprite flash events event because we're going to use the event listener and we're using the bullet as a sprite. So what we do is we set up a class. So public class bullet extends to the sprite meaning that it's basically going to take all the properties and uses of the sprite class which is a watered down movie clip. So we want to create some private variables. The first private variable we want to create is SW, which will be the stage width, SH, stage height, and we want to make some constants, which is the speed, which I made an integer, and it's 10, and the off stage, which is an integer, negative 10. Now let's get into the first constructor function. The constructor function is the function with the same name as the class. This is the first function that will be called when the class is created on the stage. So public function bullet you know, void it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an event listener which says when you add to stage call the function on add. So let's go to on add to see what's going on. Since it's been added to stage now we can access the stage width and the stage height and set it to the SW and SH and we'll add the event listener loop which is an enter frame function. So let's look at this enter frame function loop. So what we say is the private function loop is we check if the y, when I say y, this is referring to the bullet and making sure that it's, if it's less than the stage or the off stage, which is negative 10, so basically if it goes off the screen above it, then we want to remove the event listener, which is loop, and we also want to remove this, which is the bullet. And of course, the thing that is holding the bullet is the parent. So the last item we want to say is okay so do all that jazz and subtract equal the speed which is how fast the bullet is going so this is basically everything in here this last function this public function remove listeners this will be later but you don't really have to worry about this function until we start coding for enemies but right now that's all you need for the code so save the bullet dot as make sure the bullet has the same name, the constructor function, all that jazz. And once you're done with this, save it in the same directory as your FLA, 
with your FLA saved and all you have to do is run your program test your movie and you have a game with sound effects cool bullets and just all around awesomeness so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out if you're confused by any of this don't forget that at my website you can download the FLA and everything that comes with it so if you like these tutorials don't forget to rate subscribe comment go to my website donate or click on an ad if you're just in this economic crisis or you work at Citibank thanks a lot